in making this into a, a band that could, could go around your wrist, I've found that it's helpful to tie a double wrist. Uh, other kinds of knots tend to become loose. So in tying a double reef knot, you need to make sure that you stretch the elastic a little bit. It's a clear elastic. looks like fishing line, but it's actually stretchy. Yeah, and depending on um, what size your wrist is, for a lot of guys, see about five or six spaces in this last section is a good way of getting the right size for your wrist. A lot of kids are around about two or three. So you have to try and work that out. Depending on whether you like to have a tight band on your wrist or whether you like to have a loose one as well, whatever works for you as far as what's most comfortable. So there's five on there now. We could make this into a, I just call it a number five because of that group of spaces and you'll see there that I'm doing a double reef knot here by making that an extra loop around the, the elastic. And you stretch that a little bit, pull it tight to make sure you get it right through. And it's good to tie this knot with these particular beads so that it's near the big hole in that gold bead. And that way when the knot's finally tied, it can actually sit inside of the gold. And you have to try and keep this tight while you're doing it so that it sits nice and comfortable and pulls the, de the beads together well. You do a few of them? Yeah, I usually do two double reef knots and then two half hitch knots, half hitch ones over the top of that. So these beads can go anywhere really. They can be used as some sort of ornament in the house or people can carry around with them in their pocket depending on what you're doing at the time and they help you because they're a physical object. It's that old habit of carrying some sort of a symbol and the symbol can then be a part of rituals that you have throughout your day where you might be wanting to remember to think of some people to pray for them or even in communicating the story of Jesus to others. It can be a really simple way of clarifying that. So, then you just close it off with one of those, a couple yeah. of those knots, right? Eh? Yeah, a couple of half hitch knots. And that's the story of the, the wrist beads. And over here you'll see how the story is summarised. The gold, I came out of the heart of God, grey, the curse fell on us. Yep. Red, Jesus broke the power of the curse. White, we are now free which is actually true in the world. But there's one last piece that activates that, and that's the rainbow one. What is true becomes real when I trust in Jesus. The blue, the river of the Holy Spirit flowing in me. Green, growing little gardens of goodness. Red, the gift of my life to Jesus and back to the world. And the last gold one, I belong to heaven. Wow. Well, thanks, Pete. Thank you. I don't know that we can quite read them. It's somehow it's a little bit fuzzy. So but um, we'd be able to... Uh, can we get these from anywhere? 